PK52, the Saturday morning meeting. So as promised, second set of series on Highlander. More to come. I've got videos and different items that I'll be posting through the next couple of weeks. I want to make sure that as we ramp through gas and introduce the hybrid Highlander, that we're completely armed. I don't want to miss any customer. I don't want to send anybody down the road to any other manufacturer. Um, you got two choices. you got remainder of 19 and 2020 will be in stock. And uh, this means that, that every customer coming in looking for that upper level of pasture hauler, we ought to get them every single time. So five trim levels, L, LE, XLE, the Limited, and the Platinum. Remember now in the hybrid as it comes out in February, there's no L model in the hybrid. The warranties stay the same. Five year, 60,000, eight year, 100 on the hybrid. Um, 336 on the comprehensive and the two-year maintenance program is still the same. So no changes to the basic warranties and the maintenance program. So the pricing goes like this. So I'm going to walk you down the L through all trim levels. Then I'm going to move through the grade strategies. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do some comparisons because sometimes it's my dollars. If I was buying something, you know, what, what would trigger me in a price point? And I think the more armed you are, as a matter of fact, if you can have a casual conversation with a customer, well, you pick up these items like I got last week for an additional couple of hundred dollars. So what I would do is I would go and move to the next level. I mean, and then it's the customer's choice. I love the, the choice of the customer when it's A or B, not A or leave. So do I want the LE? Do I want the XLE? And they're wrestling back and forth, and they make a decision on either one of those. As long as they've decided that they're going to take a Highlander home, I'm good to go. The L, 34.6, uh, 34,600 34, base starting price. Go to the LE, you know what you pick up in the package, 36.8. Go to the XLE, 39.6. So from 34.6 to 39.6 on the XLE. Big jump between the LE and the XLE. Limited, 43,650. And the Platinum Edition, in the two-wheel drive, gasoline-powered, 46,850. So 346, two-wheel drive, gasoline. 368LE, 39.6, XLE, limited, 43,650, platinum, 46,850. That's your L two-wheel drive. So what happens when I jump to all-wheel drive? Again, in the southern states, the two-wheel drive may be everything you need. I mean, you, you, don't, you might not want to upgrade your expense to get the all-wheel drive. I always tell customers, though, not every vehicle will stay in the south. If that vehicle makes its way up to the north and is traded up in the north, then the all-wheel drive is going to have a premium trade value. But as long as you're down where it doesn't snow and there's not a whole lot of weather that would cause you to need all-wheel drive, I mean, you're, you're keeping money in your pocket by, by the two-wheel drive and you're not really giving up performance. Let's go to the all-wheel drive gasoline, the L model, 36.2. So from 34.6 to 36.2, you buy the all-wheel drive package. Check out the LE, 36.8 to 38.4. So on the, on the LE package, 36.8 to 38.4, I got the all-wheel drive. 41.2 will be um, the XLE. 45.6, big jump, 41.2 to 45.6, the limited. But then again, you heard last week what you get with the limited package. Pretty pretty amazing upgrade when you jump to the limited. And then when you go uh, the uh, platinum, this is all-wheel drive, gasoline, uh, 48.8. So under $50,000. So that $50,000 price point right there is, if you look at all models, all lineups, and all manufacturers, of course, you get to the domestics. They're like $150,000 with $125,000 rebate. I don't know how they figure their stuff out, but it is what it is. Um, let's go to hybrid. February launch hybrid. Hybrid two-wheel drive. Now, we know we don't get an L, so there's no L. Let's go right into the LE. The LE is 38 two, 38200 Let me go back over to the two-wheel drive. Let me, let me go to the all-wheel drive um, gasoline. 384. I can go to the two-wheel drive hybrid for 38.2. So, you know, um, the gas mileage improvement is pretty spectacular. So, I don't know. That comes into play. Uh, not until February, though. Don't, don't, uh, don't confuse the customer. Uh, the XLE is 41,000. Limited is 45,050. And the Platinum is 48,250. 
I want to let you know that, that these numbers are preliminary numbers. I've got them from multiple sources, not from Toyota. But these, these numbers are released to the press and all the magazines and everything, and they're going to be close to the base price. Um, if I get an upgrade, if I've missed a number and everything, I'll immediately post it in social media and correct myself. But of all the research I've done, these should be the prices that you guys will be printing out very soon. The hybrid may not be out there yet, so I'm probably jumping the gun on that, and I'm probably going to get in trouble. But it is what it is. I want you guys to know. The hybrid all-wheel drive. I mean, this is the one... I mean, this is the one to consider if money's not the issue. So 39.8 gets you the LE package. Again, no L. No, that's like Christmas, no L, right? No L. Um, if I go to the XLE 40, 42,600, if I go to the Limited, it jumps to 47,000 from 42,6 to 47,000. But again, the, the packages that you get, the dynamic vectoring, um, situation you get with the trail mode and all that. I mean, you pick that up when you get into that limited. And then uh, the plat the Platinum Edition all-wheel drive hybrid does break the 50,000 barrier, 50,200. So a couple of things I looked at. So 34.6 for the basis of the base, you know, still get a lot of stuff. I mean, I listed it last week. It's not like you're getting a stripped vehicle. This vehicle's well equipped. Um, the big, big difference is with cloth interior. And then I jump all the way over to the XLE all-wheel drive hybrid at 42.6. From 34.6 to 42.6, that's not a big jump. So the customers are going to look at this and see value. Now, there'll be some additions you can change out. Remember, I can move a captain's chair or bench seat at no additional cost. I think that's cool. Toyota could have certainly put a couple of hundred dollars in there if you wanted to upgrade to the captains. But they didn't. So depending on how your region orders that. Tow capacities. Everybody's going to want to know what the tow capacity is. I got them for you. 5,000 pounds standard on the gasoline models and 3,500 pounds on the hybrid. So it is what it is. 5,000 pounds is a nice little trailer along with a family vacation that works in this, in this model. Gas mileage. Subject to change. Here's what I got for you right now. Two-wheel drive. Combined two-wheel drive gasoline, 24 combined miles, 24 miles per gallon. In the city, 21. On the highway, 29. Now, wait, wait, wait a minute. So this big gasoline 3.5 cruising your family down the highway is looking to get 29 miles per gallon. You know, Toyota's always conservative and everything. So, you know, you're breaking the 30 mile per gallon mark or more. Um, this is a big rig for a gasoline engine to get close to 30 miles per gallon. That's fantastic. I mean, that's that's Camry um, gas mileage right there in the Highlander. I love it. All-wheel drive, you lose a little, but not much. Tw from 24 combined to 23, one mile per gallon for the all-wheel drive, 20 miles per gallon in the city, 27 on the highway. So that gives you the gasoline, two-wheel drive, and all-wheel drive. Here's what I know right now about the hybrid. Uh, the hybrid is 36 miles per gallon combined, 35 city only, and 36 on the highway. So your number, no matter where you drive it, is 35, 36. That's super cool. So, I mean, stop and go driving in a, in a congested major metro, and I'm still going to get 36 miles per gallon? Deal me out some of that. So I'm paying a couple of hundred dollars more for the hybrid, and I'm going to change my gas mileage from, let's say, in the city, uh, from 21 miles per gallon to 35 miles per gallon, it doesn't take too much of a super genius to figure out how fast you pay yourself back on that. So, I mean, Toyota's promised us that everything's going to come out in, in some kind of alternate fuel, either a hybrid or a hydrogen or an electric vehicle, and they're keeping true to their promises, but these things aren't just thrown out there because Toyota made a promise. They're thrown out there, and they're performance marvels. Let's look at the all-wheel drive, because I think a lot of people will opt for this. Again, there's no L. Um, so 35 miles per gallon in the all-wheel drive, from 36 to 35. So if you get the two-wheel drive hybrid, it's 36. All-wheel drive is 35, one mile per gallon. Uh, in the combined, it's 34, only a drop of one. In the highway driving, only a drop of one to 35. So 35, 34, 35. So I, I don't know if this helps. But you, you kind of got to put both of these weeks together. So I get this, 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 and this, and then I get 37 miles per gallon. Or I get this price right here, and I get all of this, 
And I'm not really interested in a hybrid, but I can get 29 miles per gallon on the highway in a gasoline engine. So I don't know, man. It gets, uh, it gets, it's not easy. It gets actually more confusing. So I hopefully that being able to throw all this out in two videos will allow you guys to look at, you know, what you feel like in your market is the best overall package. Because I promise you, in Detroit or Chicago or up in Boston to, to New Hampshire, is going to be a whole lot different than a buying motives of somebody down in the southern part of Arizona or New Mexico or Texas or Louisiana, maybe Mississippi. So value really might pertain to where you're located geographically. So this has been PK52, second week of the 2020 Highlander. Sure hope it helps.